Which one's this? The one with the two goats. Oh, yes. There's now bingo hall and gaming in, you know, casino. What's that going on about this now? St Mary in the crypt or something? St Mary in the castle, well, that's there. That was a church. That was, that was uh, Buckingham Palace in uh, Royale. Royale, I did the rushes to that. Well, here we are on another cinema adventure. We've come to Hastings today to meet Peter. Peter, come here. This is Peter, the chief projectionist or technician? Uh, projectionist. Please. The chief projectionist at the Ocean here, former ABC. I don't know which way you want to say this, but the former ABC at Hastings, now the Ocean. And you're going to show us around now, aren't you, Peter? I look forward to it. Thank you very much. So, welcome to Hastings for everybody and our host, Peter. Thank you. Thank you. This is screen one. That's nice. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm touching the light up there. I've got a little bit of rock. Oh, that's lovely. I'll try and arrange to be around in the boat. Otherwise, the point is to be white lights on the table. Oh, this is, a, is this your biggest screen? No. Oh, right. oh, this is lovely. Oh, you look like a bloody technician. Right, <laughs> <laughs> we've got number four, then we can do that one. Right. Are we still in the stalls area or are we in the circle uh, area this now? Is, this is the original uh, stalls area. Oh, right, yeah. Was, but they, uh, in, in 75 they removed the, uh, the whole stalls floor. Yes. And the only part that was left was the part, the stage in number one. Oh, right. And that's all, all that's left of that. But they removed it all and then they, they then put two cinemas on this level, opened up the foyer area below, which went back into the old orchestra pit, mm -hmm. and made that into one big shop unit for which they get a £1,000 a week. Oh, right, well, you can't blame is, them. Uh, you're not filming me, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be we're, now, like we're now going, this wall here takes us into the pub. This, this was a pub. Oh, yes. So, the line from there, all there, through to that pillar there. That was this was a pub. No, that's, it's really oh, cool. nice. That was a Gaiety pub. And upstairs, I've got the original. Because this uh, used to be the, the Gaiety cinema, didn't it? That's from Gaiety Theatre. Gaiety Theatre. My mum and dad were in the very last performance. Wow. Yeah, they were in the chorus of the Desert Song. The that's old fantastic. Man's, the old man's 92 now, and mum's 90. Oh, fantastic. Right, so now we're back into the original cinema. That's the original stairs that came up from the foyer. Came up this way. Yeah. And then up these stairs. Yeah. And we're now going up into what was the circle lounge. Because it's a tall, high building. Yes. Then, or narrow building, then it's all stairs all the way through. Oh, sure. We're now going through the wall. This is a new part. New entrance. Mm-hmm. These stairs are new. And we're now coming onto the what was the circle crossover. Oh really? And the toilet's off to the left. So this originally was the, the Asherette seat was there, right where Steve is. On a seat. There's our Steve. Then we come through, this is number four. Screen four. Now this is the original screen to number one. That's screen number four, Peter. That's number four, yeah. That's a lovely screen. That's not your biggest, is it? No, no. Which is your biggest? Number two. Number two. And that's that's about 180, 180 yeah. seats. 
But it's nice. You got nice tabs, and and it feels like a proper cinema. It does. It's still not like a but we tried. Well, I've always said that. You see, originally they were going to put in these two screens. They were going to put uh, acoustic panels on the wall. Yes. Come on there. Let's have some bloody drapes. Yes. Something that looks nice. You know, looks like a cinema. Looks like a cinema exactly, and that's what so, we lose so well, much. Well, Alan, I tell you, I mean, yeah. I always, I always used to put lots of input into the, yeah, into the site meeting. But that's because you're interested. Well, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is after what nearly 50 years in the business, you don't you don't lose interest, do you? Oh no, you got Cinemechanica. This is the new box. I got to say, if you got Cinemechanica, it must be a new box. Well, no, it's all second-hand stuff. I've got Cinemechanica everywhere. No, they took all the FP20s out. Oh, I didn't have them. What do you used to have? Cinemechanica. But this was an ABC. That's right. <laughs> tell me, Peter. I'm going to tell you, when the, when the original conversion was done, or the reconversion in 1985, I didn't want Phillips, you see. So, oh, well, anyway, uh, Peter Lodge at uh, Sam Associates, yes. he was, uh, I think he was on the technology committee with Alan. Probably. So it was black, 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 and they got a new automation system. Yes. So I think he got it a little bit on the cheap stuff, so I had all chin mechanica. Now you, must have, you must have been the only ABC with Shinna Mechanica. It was me, Tottenham Court Road, and uh, uh, like one up in, um, one up in, oh, where was it? I forget the name of it now. It's still going. They still got Shinna Mechanica. I forget the name of it now. I was just telling anyway. Yeah. The platter was Jeff Hughes. Yeah. What's Greta? Oh, oh, Jeff. Oh, God. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, well, this one, well, they're all, all automated. The only trouble is with the stuff they put in, all our pulses are on the opposite side. So, oh, yeah. so, we, so we have every film, we have to pulse twice. Both sides, yeah. That's a shame. That's the one. You get five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Peter, the Cinemation 2005, how do you find it? So that works well. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, but we only use it on a manual start. We never use it on, a, on full automation. Yes. So we don't set any pops with the start up. Oh, you call me and start it. That's right. And we have no interval, so we aren't worried about that. So, yeah. We, we still go on ABC's policy, keep the screen occupied. Yes. Yeah. Do you still feel like an ABC? Oh, you've got oh, yeah. used to be an Odeon now. Yeah, you feel like an ABC until somebody from Odeon turns up. Yes. Right, shall we go up to... Shall we move on? Yep. Yeah. Yes, please, thank you. Really? Got two words out. And they got two words each. Now we can go this way. One, one. This is the number three. Oh, wow. So you're now in the rear circle. Oh, really? You're still on the circle crossover. Yeah. yeah. But this was a single screen, how big was it? Uh, it was about 1300. That's nice size. So we're now down to uh, 230s, yes. uh, 155, 180. Yeah, we've lost a lot of seats.
papers. Okay. And we have the projection room. Is this the original box? This is the original box. Because yeah. it looks like it with these stairs. That's well, you haven't seen the stairs yet. The yeah. stairs are below you. Oh no. <laughs> Don't. Spot <laughs> roll again. Yeah, all right. Stop <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this ray. Oh, isn't that lovely? This is the, actually it's a new projection. I look like you, well, you to us. Yeah. You know Steve, don't you? Yeah. And there was a wall, a wall came through there. Yes. And that was our staff room on that side. Oh, right. So this is not the original projection room? Well, this, just here is. Oh. All this bit there. Oh, right. It's the staff room. So, a pool there. There. So number one was there, number two was there. Oh, right. Then we had a very small slide lantern. Yes. Did you have any spotlights? Any no, 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 no. No? No, no. But didn't you used to do stage shows? No. Really? I didn't, the stage didn't lend itself to that. Oh, it right. the after 1953 with the yes. scope, installation of scope. Of course, yes. And uh, you'll see when we go into number two, you've got a wall on either side that comes out and the screen actually fitted uh, two wings on the screen frame and, the, and it fitted back onto these two walls that came out to give you an enormous screen. But the problem there was with the left, left and right, the speakers had to come in. So yes. all three speakers were virtually side by side. Side by side, yeah. And you, and you didn't really ever get the stereo effect from the stage speakers. Yeah. So really, four track mag consisted of your left, you know, your centre and your surrounds. And that was right. basically it. Yeah, Everything yeah. else got mixed up. Yeah. It was still pretty good. Come through, this is the staff room. And new staff room. Oh, this is lovely. We put the wall up and well, yeah. we did all the work up here. Oh, this is really nice, Peter. Yeah. That's what they like coming up here. Home from home, isn't it? It is, it's really good. Is that the old projection room up there from Major Stegge? That's, that's uh, the ABC Cambridge Road. Oh, and Alan worked there as well? That's right, that, Alan actually took the photograph. Oh, really? Down there we had the uh, two Ross GC3s, the usual ABC. GC3s, yes. And we had a pair of Stelmars and a Biunial, this is an old Biunial. Yeah. There's a Stelmar this side of it, and there's another Stelmar there. Oh, right. So tell me, Peter, in such an old building, you must have a ghost. Two. Tell me about them. We've got Eric and Arthur. Right. Well, Arthur, he appears quite often. When the staff room was at the other end, Yes. Arthur used to open the battery room door. Never. I used to unbolt it. Yes. You'd be sitting there, and all of a sudden the light go on. You'd hear it go click, because it's an old metal clad switch. Yes. you hear it go click, and you go out, and the battery room door would be open, the light be on. Never. That used to happen quite often, yeah. Did you feel funny about it? Oh, no, it never bothered me. Get used me. to it. Yeah, it never bothered me at all. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then Eric, he appears occasionally. He's another old chief. He was our chief at Cambridge Road, and he came down here. But, uh, he was Eric Dunk. You know Eric Dunk. I'll show you. I'll show you his picture. Then you'll know. That's Eric. The old Mackie conferences. Yeah, it's definitely. So that's Eric who now haunts. He's now. The now haunts occasionally, yes. You smell his pipe. Really? That's the only thing with Eric, we smell his pipe. Does he ever do anything? Switch switches? Or? No, no, only Arthur does that. Mm -hmm. Going back years ago when you played The Exorcist, as you would have known as the ABC right. house, did you have any strange things happening? Nothing at all. That's unusual because a lot of things did happen. No, I think a lot of that was in the bloke's mind. It's purely what? Because they were I had problems, so I know. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, definitely. 1992. 1872. So the building's 1872? Oh, 1872. What was it before they put movies in it? It was a uh, musical. Never. Yeah. And there's the building on it when it closed in 1932, is that? That's when it actually went to a cinema. Is it the same building or was it rebuilt? That's the same building. Never. Yeah, it's the same building from 18... Uh, the date's there. 1882, sorry. August the 1st, 1882 it opened, and it closed as a theatre on May the 21st, 1932. Good God. So, have you got anything left of the original stage? Yes. No, nothing of the original stage. Only the flies. Only the flies, that's all. But there's nothing yeah. up there except a load of old rubbish. The building was stripped in 1932 when right. it was converted to a theatre, to, yes. to a cinema. Yes. And uh, so everything went. 
everything no. around. Not even all we've you... got left is the dressing rooms, that's all. Really? And they are still virtually as they were, except Never. everything's been removed, all mirrors. Of course, yeah. yeah. You can have a wander around there if you want Fantastic. To. What stars played here? Oh, blimey, you name it. Lily Langtree. No. Oh, yeah, you name it. Uh, what's the name? My old man said, follow the van. What was her name? Uh, uh, you know the one I mean? Yeah. Um, Oh, they, they, all the big, Harry all the, Houdini. Harry Houdini, he, he appeared. Uh, George Roby. George Formby. But, no, not, not George Formby. Lord that was, Hardy. That was, uh, no, the theatres. No, no, no. That was, that was sort of, no, no, that was 1932. Later, yeah, of course, 1932 yeah, yeah. we disappeared. No, if you, if you go back to sort of oh, the 20s, probably up to the 20s. Chaplin, did he ever play there? here? Who? Chaplin. No. 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 Yeah. Nobody big like that. Max Miller. No, Max Miller pl played the Regal St. Leonard's. We had another theatre, which was an ABC, nice. the Regal St. Leonard's. Yes. So in the f 40s, 50s and 60s, that was the place. That was the whole summer was taken up yes. with a uh, uh, musical, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, they finished up. The la very last show up there was Syncopate in Sandy, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Played the piano for 20, 24 days or something. God. Are you the only cinema in town? We are. Yeah, so you have everything. Well... Uh, yeah, up to a point. But yeah. The trouble is, we've got a multiplex at Eastbourne, 17 miles away. Yeah. So, until we get an interlock whereby we can actually admit more people, all mm. we do is turn people away. Mm. So, how many screens have we got, Peter? Four. Just four, yeah. So That's enough for me. Yeah. So, your biggest screen, how, how many seats? 180. Oh, so it's quite small now. Yeah, a lot smaller than it was. Wow. 180, then 155. Hundred and done two two one thirties. Recently been rebranded. Recently been rebranded. Yeah. Yes, and uh, uh, in a way, we were quite pleased with the fact that that uh, a lot of the old stuff went. But where yeah. we are now was part of the projection room. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is the original projection room. Mm -hmm. So, would you like to see the projection room and uh, point oh, your yeah. camera in the right direction? Absolutely. There? Thank you very much, Peter. That's right behind you. Thank you. Let's can again. Okay. I like, I like it. Too. This is such a nice projection box. If you bring him up ten times an hour, ah, neat, really beautiful. Yeah. I like your little makeup table. Uh, that's uh, uh, again a short, short-lived Chino Mechanica makeup yes. table. I think that he made. Two or three hundred of them. Really? You very rarely see them. That's right, because there's normally a bigger table now, isn't it? A lot, a lot it? bigger. Yeah. yeah. Which is fine, you know, but uh, I mean, that does the job and it takes up half the space. And of course, it's very, very light. Yes. It's no problem, you swing it out. That, the, the only problem with it is, is you're, you're spooling off vertically. Yeah. And you can't tilt the table at all, so yeah. it's got to be vertical. Yeah. So all but the that's like the Christie makeup table. It is. Oh. Yes. So it's probably a, a direct copy of the Christie then. I'm not sure, but that looks really good. Yeah. Looks really nice. This is our the Chili Mechanical Automation. Again, I think it was pretty short lived. Oh no! But a nice, simple idea. We've had it in now for 18 years. Never. Yeah, this equipment's 18 years old, and I've never had anything go wrong with it. Quite simple. Start, stop. Yes. Fruit machine. Machine, but it's uh, a cam, isn't it? That's all cam it, is mechanical, that's it doesn't it go wrong. Tick, 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 and you got tick, nice tick, relays. It yep. It's much better than us all the electronic stuff. Oh yeah. Because if something does go wrong, you can change the relay, right. perhaps change the cam. Yep. You know. Nothing does go wrong. No, the only it doesn't. thing micro switches. That's the only thing. Yes. And they don't actually pack up, they just stick slightly, so yeah. take them out, give them spray. And so go again. that will do an auto start, take the house lights down, start the projector. Shutter open, tabs open, pullers down, change, sound on. Change the uh, um, your lenses for that's format changes. That's fabulous. That's that. And it does the same on stop. I've never seen this one before. Why have Very few people this? have seen it. Yes. It's so simple and it was it but was the simple not things work, Peter. Well, exactly. You've got very few electronics in there. In fact, no electronics. The whole thing's bloody mechanical. That's right. And it's wonderful. Anything goes wrong, you can actually see where it's gone wrong. And just replace the parts. But no integrated circuits to think, well, I don't know what's going on in there. Yeah. You know, half a dozen relays, you know, which are all tied up in one little black thing. Yes. So that's yeah. ideal for me.
But electronics, I don't never have pretended to understand it. Electrics, I'm fine with. So I'm fine with these. Yeah. But as I say, we never have a problem with it. They work all the time. 364 days a year now for 18 years, and never a problem. No, that's fabulous. And you just have a pulse on the film to trigger it off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very, very simple. In fact, I can show you the stop sequence. We'll now go through the stop sequence. It's in the centre. Right, it's now going through the stop sequence. So, what it's doing is, the can's operating. Just there. Oh, yeah. I can run it again. Just tick, 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 tick. Operates the micro switches as and when it wants to. That's right. And the great thing about it is, if you want to change what's happening, say you want your, your curtains to close a bit later, or yeah. the lights to come just up a bit earlier. Just the cam. Just alter the cam. So very, very simple. Fabulous. Same again. There it goes. Very, very simple. It's the simple things that work, Peter. That's right. Now lens change, which is even which is even simpler. You've got nothing at all goes to that. Yeah. And nothing goes to any box on the wall. Just goes, well, it's a direct feed. Your lens has gone. Is that five seconds? Yeah. Five feet it takes, five feet of film. Is that all? Wow. And that's it. Just and let the, the masking go. Back. Just let the masking go. Of course. And we'll do it the other way. And then I've recently put the green one, the green sensor over there. I've just done that. That puts our house lights on. Oh, on the cast. On the cast. Yeah, the new ocean policy. So again, all we've done is is uh, we've utilised the equipment that we've got yes. to do something that's new. So rather than call an engineer in, having here for five days, You're messing doing. about and probably buggering the whole lot up, yeah. we do it ourselves. And that's fabulous. And it's nice to see the projector on the right. Oh yes. Oh, it looks like a projector, doesn't oh, it? Two before under the back. So we made the base up. Yes. Because the floor runs away three eighths of an inch on that two feet. So we had to the base had to be worked out properly. But it does the job. Oh no, I think it's lovely. Really all, the really equipment, nice. all the equipment is uh, 18 years old. You the projectors? Oh, everything. Yeah. So you must be one of the very earliest persons to get a Vic 5 in. Uh, well, I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know when they start. When did they start producing Vic 5s, Steve? Steve? When did they first produce Vic 5s? Oh, my God. 1980, what? No, I think much earlier than that. Was really? It? I can't so see. We went to remember the date. 85, 84, 85, they put this lot in. And oh. I mean, you look at them, they're as good as new. They are. But they, they look like new pizza. They really do. You. It's a credit to all well, your well, team. Well, unfortunately, yeah, we've got a good team and they look after it. And we look after our equipment. Oh, it shows. Toss about, don't give a toss about the film. As long as we look after the projectors. Yeah. That's the main <laughs> thing. The film will look after itself. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. There was spider up there. I think he's about to lick something. Nearly. Oh, what's he doing? Hey, there, Spider. Looking to see the serial number in this one. Is he looking for the serial number? Ah. Yes, I'll be like, well, it's in the book. Do you want the serial number? It's in the book, mate. <laughs> <coughs> it was written by the, by the um, original owner of the Gaiety Theatre. And it's the souvenir or copy of my dad's got the original. Wow. And my father was director of entertainment at Hastings. Never. Until 1972. So all the ones in the family then, Peter? Oh, entertainment. entertainment. Dad was never yes. home and I'm never at home. Yeah. But uh, if you want to borrow this and maybe take a photocopy of it, you're quite oh, right. No, we won't take it, Peter, just to be safe because sure. it's special. No, yeah. no, no, because I can always get it's, it's only a photocopy. No, no, we won't take it. Yeah. Well, let me. You've, you've already got pictures of it. Yeah. You? But the, the building exists just the same. That's the yeah. original entrance there, and that's yeah. the entrance to the pub. That's an amazing building. Mm. It's really good. Very old building. What's a lot of looking after? 
Yes. So any chief has got to be mother and father to the building as well as mother and father to the staff. Yeah, but as a projectionist or as a chief technician, you know, you, you feel for I'm the place. projectionist. Okay, chief projectionist then, that's why I'm trying to be very sort of use it the words they use today, but you know, you're right, we are projectionists. And you do love your projectors, you love your cinema, you look after the projection room. That's right. And you care and look after them. Yeah. And, and I, I defy you, but when you're not here, the projectors know you're not there because you, you care for them in a certain way and look after them. But I've always found, leave well alone. All the while they're running, all right? Absolutely. Leave them alone. But very often, you've, I, mean, I, I, I go to Burton on Trent and you, Ben says, oh, your monthly maintenance is so and so, so and so, so and so. And you're, you're actually taking things apart, which you don't need to do. Don't take anything apart until it says, oh, take me apart. I'm going wrong. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Just maintaining the regular. That's right. And it runs forever. Because I always say, when things break down, it's nothing that's major normally. It's something silly. Yeah. You know? it's, always, it's always something silly. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, anything on the Vic 5 has got to be something silly. Yeah. Because it's so simple. Mm. How often do you have to change your AB butt belts? Your belts? Uh, I change your belt when they start to tick. Oh, so you do get a warning that beginning oh, yeah. to go? Yeah. Well, you, usually they start to tear across. Yes. Once that, I mean, they always say change them every 12 months or something like that, but no, otherwise you can change your belts all the time. So you get more than 12 months out of the belt? Yeah, so when they start to tick. But when they first went in, we had a lot of trouble with two of them, where the uh, the belts were going after about well, a couple of months, I suppose. No. Just, just breaking on the yes, spot. Yes, yes. And uh, we found, or I found out from, uh, just by looking in the manual at the bottom, it says that when, when first installed, you must ensure that the bush on the cross box is tightened up and then taken back one quarter turn and the third clip reinserted so on these two machines I, and both of them were tight and so what I did was I took, took them back pulled to turn put the circlips back on and the belts I suppose I don't know I don't remember the last time I changed a belt really they of an inch I'd give them about an inch and a quarter inch and a half so you've got plenty of movement and they'll last over a year they, la they last for oh, a lot longer than a year that's, Three, that's four, amazing five years. never oh yeah well that is amazing because yeah. I know they don't they seem to go quite a lot in some of the multis usually what, what happens is, is they tighten them up too much you put any tension too much tension on these drive belts and they will go yes, we've just been it. researching your previous question about the age of these and I'm absolutely positive 85 these are I'm absolutely positive I worked on one of these between 1972 and 75 sometime when they I didn't have big fives in 72 75 surely the manual was printed in 1975 Wow, I never knew that. That's interesting. And I, I knew they were pre-80. Yes. Because I worked on them before I left the business the first time. Oh, wow. Because Alan here, Alan Holtz, our friend, Alan. Hello, nice to see you. Really, Projectionist Supremo, Phoebe yeah, Theatres, yeah. West End. You've worked on fires, haven't you, a lot? Yes, I have. And have you found the big five? Beautiful machines, as long as you maintain them. They, they plod along forever, don't they? I used to have a problem with the shutter times um, before they put inverted on yeah. Once they put the inverter on, it cured the problem of uh, blowing shutter drive. So, uh, Excellent. We live and learn. Yeah, exactly. It's a really nice box, isn't it, Alan? And yeah, I really like it because the uh, low ceiling makes it's it very homely. Bit, things feel a bit tall. Yeah, not many places I can go, we're up in the touch the ceiling. Nice the sun, you just open all the doors, the air rushes through. Yeah. It's ideal. Yeah. It is, it's like, oh, yeah. it's like a living room, Peter. It it's, really feels comfortable. This time last year, mate, it was a tip. Really? Uh, yeah, we did literally. We tied it up with a shovel. Put your name on. You guys are my the I get Well, Alan,
he only need to go before that. Oh, I see. I mean, you just look at the no. box. This is massive. We can't get the theatre, baby. Okay. You look at the box. Well, you want to you want to see the dread the dressing room, don't you? Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, come on. Dressing room upstairs, Ken. I'll see you in a minute. Do you want to see this one start? Oh yes, please. Oh, yeah. If you're going to start. Mm -hmm. Shall I start it? No. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Let's see. Wipe back. Now the cans are operating. Excellent. I'll change the lens again, so that's okay. Yeah. Thanks, Ken. Thank you. Do you want to go out onto the roof? Oh, yeah. Thank you. You'll get attacked by the seagulls, but don't worry about it. We like that. Well, this is lovely. Up here in the, uh, in the summer. Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. The English Channel. Is that the English or the North Sea? The English Channel. English Channel. La Manche, if you're French. Yes. At the castle up on the hill. The behind you is the new shopping centre. Yes. Over there. And see the North Prior to that, it was uh, a cricket ground. Never. Yeah, and uh, Dennis Compton played here in 1946 in a uh, match against the Australians. And uh, I think he scored something like 184 runs, most were sixes, and most of them hit the castle. The castle was Never. perfect then. You yeah, have a Yes, it was absolutely perfect. Wow. <laughs> you are. Now, if you go, around, go back round to the castle, you can see the damage that young Dennis Compton did. Oh, I can well, see, yeah. yeah. Uh, the castle was built by William the Conqueror in oh, 1068. Right. Yes. That was two years after 1066. That's right. That's amazing. It's beautiful here. Mm, that's the ridge. Part of the, well, it's the beginning of the south town. Oh, right. That, that goes all the way down to Brighton, doesn't it? Yeah. They get revenge. They always get revenge on me. They hate me. Oh, this is really nice, Peter. Yeah. It's always nice to have this bit. Yes. Nice to have somewhere you, you know, in the mornings in particular, come up and do a quick roof check. Of course. Check all the valleys are clear. And... On the phone now. It's a busy place, a pizza. Yes, it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. In the summer. Yes. In the summer, it does all right. I think yeah. a profit's about 300 grand, something like that. Oh. Do you get a lot of foreign visitors in the summer? A lot of, uh, lot of students, yeah. And in the winter, it's just locals? <laughs> locals, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely. That's like all seaside resorts, you know. Yes, absolutely. Right, we're now going to number two. Right. Yeah, yeah. I think you should keep looking at her as much as sail, you know, I should have a long because they're not there because they're not there. Oh, that's it. So we've got one or two this way. One, number one that way, number two this way. Uh, it's number one, your biggest screen. Uh, number two. And that's in the stalls. That's the original front stalls. Oh, wow. Uh, the old MGM stalls. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
kind of stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, that's so nice. Where are we now, Peter? We're uh, backstage of the original, the original theatre. Oh, Shay, this is beautiful. Yeah. You so got this, is, old... this is actually the original walls. Everything, the new wall behind you. Original. Oh, wow. So, where exactly are you being backstage now, Peter? Uh, we, are, we are actually beside number two. Yes. To the actor's right. But the original theatre, we're backstage. We are backstage. Ah, oh, fantastic. You're now coming up into the, the old dressing room areas. Wow. Which, when it was converted to a cinema, were, this, this room was turned into staff rooms. Oh, this is amazing. Uh, this is one of the staff's dressing rooms. Yes, and L Lily Langtree plays here. Oh, yeah, Lily Langtree. I'm still trying to think who sang oh, My Old Man Said Follow the Man. What was her name? I forget her name now. But they all played here. Um, what's his name? Mr. Gladstone came and gave a political speech. And no. Wife, and his wife fell out the carriage and broke her arm in Queen's Road. Oh, good grief. Yeah, so that was exciting. But when you see something like this and look at the roof, now this is what is magical. Yeah. This is history. It certainly is. You know, there are even more upstairs. Oh, wow. There's spider, spider's history as well. A lot of gone on. <laughs> a lot of history Thanks, there. Fred. Yes. Right. Oh, that's nice. just the plenum room there. Yeah, sure. But this is, you know, you 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 have to sort of visualise thirty or forty chorus girls all running oh, down here. Oh, I can. I can. On stage. It's now in their finery. Obviously, it was cleaner then. Well, no one ever uses the no. stage area. That's that's normal no, now. We had a problem with the roof in the past, so. Oh, this is fabulous. You can see yeah. in, in this one where the mirrors were. That's all the way amazing. And where the coke looks were. Was that, that a ga gaslight? Gaslight, yes. Oh, God. Really. There's one or two. I don't know quite what half of them say, but I've got a lot of writing. John, somebody wrote, wrote his name. But it was actually cleared. It was only cleared about in the mid 60s. Up until then, there was quite a lot of, you know. This is amazing. It's got a lot of character. So the old bayonet fitting. Yeah, all dead. The only lighting's down to the next floor now. The old fireplace still in there. No, look at that. The old fireplace. Oh, that is That's amazing. And it's pandemonium time. Get the fire going. Was the fireplace in the one we've just been in? No. So this is probably the well, main. Well, there was, yeah, but it's been. been oh, right. Because that, that was converted to a staff room in the 1980s. That's 1882, fantastic. That. 1882? 1882, yeah. Good God. You got the mantelpiece here? Yeah. The old mantelpiece? This one. Right, this, this window here. Yes. Used to open and on the outside was a chute. And the chute was actually inside and rolled up. And it was the fire escape. Yeah. And they used to throw the chute out and the chute would, would go down, uh, as they have today, with escaping from jet yes. airliners or... Aircraft. Oh right. So you had this chute that took you from the top of the building all the way down. And no. that was still here when I when I started in nineteen fifty. Never. And we did think about giving it a go one day. <laughs> it, was, it was quite small, so yes. you could actually judge your speed. And uh, but we never actually did it, we just threw it out the window one day. It took us hours to get it back up again. God, that's amazing. That was quite exciting. So I've just seen over there door to fly stage. Yeah. 
dark. Okay. So we're actually backstage here at the original you're in, stage. You're over the original stage. And that's right up there is the original fly tower that's gone. Just roofed over now. There's a ladder actually can run all the way up there. That is so tied good. together with bits of rope. <laughs> As they are. Yeah. On that what was a window, the third one along, is an original the man in the grey flannel suit uh, a canopy yes. thing. They took it apart and they used they used that to stop the light getting in. Good God. It's still there, the man in the grey flannel suit. Wow. Cinema sculpt picture by 20th Century Fox. That is fantastic. Yeah, happy days. Yeah. But, Jeez. Uh, that is amazing that it still exists. Yeah. That's There's fantastic. no reason to touch it, you see. It's just no. the only thing that's been altered is all the trunking's been put in. Of course. And everywhere you look. But it's, it's got a smell of proper theatre. Oh, it has. Yeah, that musty, dusty, yeah, horrible But that's what theatre is, isn't it? Yeah. Look, that's still operational. Really? That is amazing, then. We're going through the tent's toilet. used to be a new rhino there with a... Toilet. And this is for all the stars? The, well, it's for the cast, yeah. Yes. And we go through dressing room number two. And again, I, you probably, um, my dad said you probably have about 15 people in the show in this dressing room. No. Yeah. On a big production. Because, yeah, look at all the hooks. All the hooks are still there. Yeah. So just think, on these hooks, they've hung the costumes. That's exactly right, yeah. Ah, oh, goodness gracious. You can name it, that's big on there. Can you imagine all the... Naughtiness that's gone on in some of these rooms as it did in show business days. I remember well, my dad was talking to me, he said about the last night, and he said you weren't allowed to drink backstage, and uh, he smuggled in a flagon of cider. Wow. And he said, because they were all young people, you know. Yes. And he said, you know, some of the girls only had a couple of swigs, and that was it, he said, you know. They, they were like, oh, you know, oh, I'm drunk, you know. Mm -hmm. and of course they weren't. But, uh, yeah. Oh, and no, that this very is last fabulous. Night, Probably the whole orchestra was in this room. Well, it, uh, the orchestra, actually, no, they were in the very basement. They had their own dressing room. Wow. Orchestra always had their own dressing Normally room. Normally, the ones with all the hooks were in the orchestra. The orchestra. No, no. Oh, do you know, you must be really proud of this building to have such history like these rooms. Well, I don't know how much longer it'll stand. How much longer, you know, it, all, all it wants is for UGC or someone to open up a multiplex. And that's it. Yeah, so it's the same anyway, isn't and it? And then it'll be corporation offices, council offices. That's what they're after. Yeah. Uh, it's all still all, all bands and yeah. So we see another fire this place was, here. Sorry, this was the one with the uh, fire escape. This one. Oh, this one. Yeah, because you had this, these double windows. So yes. God. But you think of the activity in these rooms. That looks like it was a toilet as well, there. Yeah, it was, yeah. God. Imagine all the bitchiness that used to go on and all the oh, theatrics. Yeah, for God's sake, get out of my way, you know. Yeah, exactly. Reg and his dancing dogs, they will be springing about. <laughs> <laughs> Who would light the fires in all these fires? Well, obviously, they had staff to do that. Yeah. Yeah, staff to do that. I mean, that's just amazing to see something like this. Yeah. Still standing there. Yeah. Is that the gas? Yeah. I suppose in the early days, it probably was coal. Coal fires, the well, the fireplace you, you just looked at was a coal fire. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're all coal fires. Ah, oh, this is just it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, it was obviously gas lighting. Yes. 1882. Good grief. There you are. Thank you. This is quite a scary bit to come round actually at night. Do you feel any sort of ghostly presence no, down no, here? No, not really, no. But you always think, you know, God, I wonder if there's anybody up there. Oh, it must be, I'm sure. Yeah, of course it creaks and grows. Yes. This is all oak. I mean, it's, you know... Oh, it's proper wood, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Got any soundproofing tiles? Seven of my dressing rooms need soundproofing because really? you can hear them all in the streets. 
That's the manager. Hello. Linda. This is Fred and uh, Steve. Hello. Fred's on the Cinema Hi. Technology Committee. Steve's Chief of Richmond. Hi. Nice He's to meet you. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's filming everything. Thank you very much indeed. That's alright. You want a new headboard for your lap? Uh, yes, I'm a bed, I'll do me. Absolutely. It's next week, isn't it? That, that's it, yeah. I think it is next Friday. Yeah. For six days, in number one screen. This is a new fogger. Did you get this when you came in? No. Now it's empty, you can. <laughs> so this is a rebranded Odin. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I saw Swiss cottages yeah. every day. Peter, it's been an absolute delight coming here to Hastings today to see your beautiful cinema. I've heard so much about it from Alan McCann, and I think it's justified. It's a beautiful cinema. Thank you very, very much indeed, Peter, for showing us around. Fred, you're very welcome. Thank you very much indeed. When you finish with that T-shirt, I'll have it. Thank you very much.